Um, so I can't have the chair of the White House Council of Economic Advisors here and um, not uh, uh, ask this question. And it's one that's on in, in our paper, and it's about inflation. Let me just read you the lead to, to this story. It says, the Federal Reserve expects inflation will climb to 3.4% this year, higher than the central bank's previous forecasts, while also projecting for the first time that there could be two interest rate hikes in 2023. Uh, could inflation be uh, a looming threat to the economy, the economic recovery that it seems like we're um, enduring now? This is an important question. Um, and let me, I'll give you my perspective on it, which is that we are, we are slowly but surely, and maybe not even so slowly, we are coming out of the greatest recession, if not close to a depression, I don't know what the, you know, if we're technically there, but the greatest recession since the Great Depression. Um, the number of jobs we lost, what, 17, 18 million jobs from last April. And we did that because of a virus. So this was not caused by a typical economic problem in the economy, which is typically how we go into recession, like the Great Recession in 2008, 2009 but it was caused by a virus which required that we power down our economic activity. Um, we have, we developed vaccines in record time. And with the American Rescue Plan, we had the funds to mount a very effective rollout strategy so that in record time um, that we got shots into people's arms. And so people were vaccinated against this virus. And importantly, these vaccines turned out to be much more effective than I know I would have imagined back in January. That it turns out if you've been fully vaccinated, you're not transmitting. And these vaccines are very effective against the variant, at least so far, we should knock on wood. All of that means, especially with the really fast uh, rollout of the vaccination, is we have gotten back to the semblance of normality really quickly. And uh, when I say very quickly, let's remember it was just back in April 19th that we open up vaccinations for all adults. And it takes five to six weeks for adults to get fully vaccinated. So we're what, three or four weeks from most adults having had the opportunity to be fully vaccinated. What that means is that demand has come roaring back. It's come roaring back faster than the Federal Reserve anticipated. It's come back faster than I would even argue most businesses anticipated which means that they are scrambling to find workers. They're also scrambling to put goods on the shelf and to be able to provide because they liquidated their inventories last spring, uh, liquidating often at a loss, and, mm -hmm. or they powered down their own enterprises. And so everybody's coming back at once. That is causing supply chain challenges. Uh, on the worker side, workers now, since we followed a policy of we broke up relationships, people were fired uh, through the pandemic, it means that workers now need to find another suitable position. And there are just weeks from understanding that they can start to get back to normal. Right. So we, th we're seeing uh, the, what I believe is the kind of a reopening of a nearly $23 trillion economy. Uh, that is a normal process. So at the moment, I believe that this inflation is, is temporary, is transitory as the economy works itself back together, as we knit back together. And that is what I believe underlies the Fed's thinking as well. So do I think the inflation we're seeing is a problem? Uh, I don't think it's a problem in the sense that it will become anchored, uh, to use a technical turn, and result in a hyperinflation. But I think we will see some elevated prices as the economy gets back to normal.